Hi everyone, Daniel Ranella, Ranella Prosthetics and Orthotics. Today we're gonna to be talking to you a little bit about lanyard style prosthetics. What that really means is someone has a gel liner, for example, that's very common. The liner can be three millimeters, it can be six millimeters made of this gel material. And the liner has to connect with something called a socket. They have to be integrated together the socket itself is usually attached to like the leg part of the prosthesis. The leg is connected to the foot. The lanyard style prosthesis is kind of like two-way Velcro strip, if you will. So the Velcro strap is attached to the bottom of the liner, okay? And as you can see by looking at these series of photos, that it goes down through the inside of the socket and out of the bottom, but we're not done yet. After it comes out of the bottom doesn't mean that everything is connected as well as it can be. So it needs to then travel up the anterior midline, just right up the center of the socket, whether it is a check socket or a laminated socket. It'll come up the center of that, and what you'll see is a lot of times there's like a chafe. It's just a loop, we could call it, okay, just for simplicity's sake. And the strap goes up through the loop and then back down again. So the strap in itself will kind of adhere to itself in a vertical fashion. And that will help to have someone feel like they're, they're down inside their socket and it's secure. There's a good amount of Velcro there. So that's what a lanyard style prosthesis looks like. And that is when someone says that to you, they really just mean the mechanism by which a liner is kind of becoming interconnected with the socket. I hope that helped you. Please watch our other videos and please by any means, let us know. You can see links on our site here and let us know if you have any questions. We'll build a video on it, okay? and kind of build a topic around that. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that. Thanks a lot for your time.